Okay, today is the long-awaited episode of Smoked Salmon in the Orion. So, before we start it, we're going to prepare the salmon. What we're going to do is we're going to take some water and kosher salt. It's about half a cup of water. Now, you're looking at this thinking, wait a minute, that's a cup measure. The reason is for that, I can't find my half cup measure, so that's all right. So, what you want to do is you want to fill this up, about a half cup of uh, salt. Oh, it's in there already. And dump it into the water. And mix it around. And you want the water to taste like you yeah, swallowed it in the ocean. You just got to taste sort of ocean water, which is a salty taste. And that's all we're going to do to prepare the fish. We're just going to salt it, all right? Uh, in fact, all right, so we're going to take that water. We're going to put it in a pan that we're going to make the fish swim in, all right? So you see we're just going to pour it in there. So you want to pan big enough. Now, of course, sometimes if you don't stir long enough, that's okay. I just wanted to stir it in a separate pan because of the slosh effect that can happen. Oh, wait! The lemon! Okay. Because there's often a fishy smell or taste that you have, you can combat that by using a lemon. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this lemon in half. We're going to take out the amazing lemon gadget. This is worth uh, every dollar you pay just to put that right in there. And we're going to put it the other half. We're going to squeeze it in there as well. Just for that tiny little lemon flavor in there. And then the salmon. All right. So we're going to use a whole filet of salmon. It's been washed and a clean towel has taken off all that water. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it, we're gonna put it skin side up so that you get a lot of contact in the water right there. So take a look really close here. Finally, the fish is sort of a second life for the salmon. And so when we get back, we're gonna show you how we're gonna put it in the uh, Hawaiian smoker and cook it for an amazingly short time. Okay, so the salmon has been in there for about 30 to 45 minutes. You can even put it in there for an hour. Believe it or not, when you do a salt brine for fish, you really only need it for an hour. Now, when you're doing pork, it's overnight or maybe a couple days. So, today we're going to use this. My dear daughter uh, got me a little three-pack of different kind of uh, woods to have. And, of course, we're going to be using peach wood for this particular thing. Now, today we have a surprise meat that's going to be joining the salmon. All right, so let's take a look. All right. Because salmon takes about 45 minutes in there, and we have a full thing of charcoal and lots of peach, we're gonna actually do a little stacking, which you can do in your Orion. That's what makes it kind of cool. We're gonna put a uh, pork loin on the bottom, and we're gonna put the salmon on the top. So let's see how we're gonna do that. All right. So we take one of the grates, like this, put it down in there. All right, so come on down here. All right. All right, so we're going to take the pork loin, we're going to put it there at the bottom, all right? Now, all right, and so now we're going to put in the pan a little bit of liquid. To do that, we're going to use one of the local North Carolina beers. Uh, this is called uh, the People's Porter, uh, made in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Here we go. We're going to put that down in the bottom, take a look down there. Just going to put it down in the pan like that for a little bit of moisture because fish and this particular cut of pork is not exactly, it's a pork loin, so it doesn't quite have the marbling that you'll see in some of the other cuts of pork. Now, we're going to put the second layer in there. It'll be great like that. And then we're going to put the third layer. I'm going to cook it on the third layer just because... Um, I want to be able to get it out of there really easily. Now, I did cut this particular filet in half so it would fit. But as you can see, take a look at that. It's sitting there kind of nicely. All right. And now, of course, we're going to, we've done the loading. We're now going to do the lighting. At this point, many people are going to think they're going to get out their tiny little matches or they're going to get something, oh, I don't know, like their little clicky, clicky, clicky thing that they do for their romantic fires at home. This is not romantic. This is cooking. So you get this baby out like that, and we want to get that going. Yeah. Yeah, we're not playing here. And like in a previous episode, I actually, oh, wait. I actually finished off some ribs with this baby because you, uh, when you smoke, you can't actually do ribs. Uh, with a baked on 
it's baked on barbecue sauce. Okay. Whew. Be careful. You don't want to torch yourself. All right. So after this, we're going to see what it all looks like together, especially the salmon in just a minute. All right, there we have just a little bit of drama, why not? Okay, so what we have here is you've got the salmon and it's ready, uh, uh, it's ready to go right now. And as you can tell, if you take a good look at it, see, you've got a nice smoke on that thing. And it's, this is about, a, this is a one half pound salmon and that is an hour in the smoke. You could have done it 45 minutes if you like it that way, but I'm gonna actually use the full hour in the smoke and then it's gonna sit on the counter to 10 minutes to rest. And then down below, if you can see it, kind of cut there. All right, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this off. What's nice about the Orion is you can use real tools and you're not gonna spoil it, all right? Now, remember this is a stack. So a lot of times when you do something like that and you're only using an hour's worth of charcoal for the whole thing and uh, of course the wood on the inside, we actually, of course, as you saw earlier, put a pork loin. So come on in here. We're gonna let this baby go. Now this pork loin, <laughs> Okay, we had a little expansion. Go ahead, just look down in there. <laughs> all right, I'm going to get rough with it later, all right? But that pork loin, now that pork loin right there is about a five-pound pork loin, and so it's going to need about four and a half hours of total smoke, uh, which is about watching, uh, it's like watching Hamilton twice and then come on out here, okay? And so we're going to take a look at that a little bit later. But the good thing about the Orion is you can actually put it right back there, and that's going to get back up to temperature in about five minutes. Because again, the charcoal, which you don't smell, is igniting the chips in the inside and it gets back up to temperature, not only with the radiant heat from the charcoal, but also from the convection heat from the pan down beneath that we put a beer in and also the juices of the meat. And so we're gonna take a look at what that looks like after a song and of course, after the pork loin is done. Okay, now the final test. What does smoked salmon and Orion taste like? Well, let's take a look. Part of tasting is looking, so let's go flake it out. So you should see a flake. You should see it flake, right? But if you notice, it's flake, but it's not like white meat, chicken, dense, Ugh. right? So it's still got a little bit there because you brined it. Remember the brine was earlier. We did it for an hour. We could do it for 30 minutes. Let's uh, have a taste here. Oh, yeah. Okay, that maintains the buttery taste. A little bit of the pecan smoke, uh, excuse me, the uh, peach, uh, peach wood smoke. That is fantastic. Warm. When it goes in the fridge and gets cold, you can put it on a bagel or a bay. Now, of course, what we're going to do is serve it with this incredible salad. And you can tell that has uh, pecans in it. And, of course, uh, check out the video. There's a hummus among us because I made that as well. So, thanks for watching. Keep smoking. And we'll see you on the next video. Now, I bet you thought we forgot the pork loin. Uh -uh. This is the stacking episode, so you saw how wonderful the, uh, the salmon was. Now, this is the pork loin. It's been going on for about four and a half hours, or about three episodes of Ab Agatha Christie's Poirot. So, or one, one was a double episode. All right, here we go. Now we're going to double spatularize this because it is tender oh yeah I think that's really nice let's put that over here because we're gonna take it in we're gonna do some cutting in fact while I have you here because it's late oh that is fantastic pork loin still it's tender still has some juices in it. Fantastic. So thanks for staying up so late and watching this to the end.